question is, are there particular things to know about using LDN for the following issues? Muscle pain, inflammation, and autoimmune uh, related issues. So really what we're talking about is inflammation because whether we have muscle pain, that's usually due to an inflammatory response. And low dose naltrexone has been shown and proven in, in wide variety of scientific studies and papers that are published all over the world that low dose naltrexone specifically works to reduce inflammation everywhere in the body. So if the muscle pain is due to overuse or a lack of nutrients, low dose naltrexone is going to help it reduce inflammation, but isn't necessarily going to help relax that muscle fiber, such as what magnesium would do, right? Because magnesium is a natural muscle relaxant. However, when we're dealing with autoimmune issues, which I think is probably the majority of the patients that we see on a regular basis using low dose naltrexone, most of the time there are side effects such as, or general symptoms of muscle pain and um, a wide variety of inflammation. And that is absolutely what LDN is, is very, very good at. And again, because there's so few side effects and there are so few drug interactions, it's definitely worth a shot. It's not very expensive and it's always low dose. And the beauty of low dose naltrexone is that if it's working, fabulous. If you don't think it's working, you can, you know, with the advice of your medical provider, as you can simply stop and see what happens. That's where, you know, not only Stephen and Sam have alluded to, but a lot of times people pick up the phone and they're like, oh my gosh, I did not realize how well LDN was working until I stopped. And I think we even heard that from Dr. Weinstock, Dr. Zielsdorf in a wide variety of other uh, physicians who have presented in the previous LDN seminar.